Hey man, what's good YouTube? Back here with episode 32. The grind has been beautiful, man. Big shout out to all you supporters out there in the world, all you subscribers. We've been getting subscribers every day. It's a beautiful thing. Um 13.9k is definitely on the way. I just want to say thank you to all you guys, man. Drop a like on this video, man. We've been smashing the likes. Every video I've been hitting almost 40 likes. And that's that means a lot to me, man. So if y'all can drop a like on this one and definitely subscribe to the channel if you new around here, man. Hit them bells. So you know every time I drop a video and every time I go live. Alright? We do giveaways. So make sure you join the Discord. The link will be in the description if you want to be a part of all the super giveaways I got coming up, man. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. In this video, I'm a little bit more hyped than usual because I finally, finally solo tamed the reaper and it's been a beautiful thing i've been trying to do this for a while I, i've been real busy though like i do a lot of pve grinding and a lot of pvp fighting on servers so i usually don't get around to really pull reapers but it's the event time right so i also been grinding up some points and just staying focused man so hopefully this reaper turns out to an event but definitely, man, if you've been watching all the videos, I appreciate you, man. It's your boy live. Let's get right into the video. So here's an update to that event, Lightning Wyvern, that I pulled. Um, this is literally the best Wyvern I've ever seen. Like, hands down, I've never seen a Wyvern that looked this good before. So shout out to me. Shout out to everybody that believed in me. And I'm so happy that I do these videos because that really got me out there getting wyvern eggs, trying to raise the bar and have content. So if I didn't really try to make a wyvern event video, I probably would have never pulled this egg or have this wyvern. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to the channel. Um, I can't wait till this is done. I definitely will clone this and breed this up and try to get this color in my crowd fridge. All right. So let's get on with the video. Woke up today. And decided to stay on my grind and grind up some points those crates um was looking real lucrative i was actually and you guys are gonna laugh your butt off like <laughs> i was so lazy i didn't want to go over to val or a rag and grab some milk so i was buying loot crates to get milk bro like it, it was actually pretty sad but the stuff that I was getting out those crates was like, yo, and and it's it's so trolly. The first crate I bought, I got milk, and that gave me the idea. And then I went back after that. I had like eight hundred thousand. I went back after that. I spent I spent like a hundred thousand on on food and stuff like that, raising mass breeding and all that for the spiders and whatnot. But I went back to try to get another crate so I could feed my dragons and. It would not give me the milk, Jack. Like, I spent like 350000 and didn't get any milk. Well, let's just say I went on a crackhead binge and spent all my points chasing that milk. And I didn't get it. I went broke. I had zero points. I had no milk. I, I wasn't even happy about the stuff in the crate because I was just chasing the milk so bad so I could just feed my wirings and go to bed. I was so frustrated, bro. Like... But for the most part, I looked in the vaults and I just couldn't believe some of the stuff that I got out of those crates, those uh, 35K crates, man. Like I was getting maxed out fabbies, maxed out saddles. Um, I got like these tech boots with like 1500 Dura. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm chasing it. I'm trying to get milk, bro. And and this is the type of stuff that I was pulling. So it was pretty it was pretty insane. And it made me think that I should keep my grind up and continue to push forward and continue to open those crates, man. And I stacked up on a few. I got a TP, um, a couple TPs. I got like two TPs, a replicator. And it was just like, yo, these crates is really OP. So... I'll just give you just my little small little rant video rant about those crates, guys. Um, if you live on Gen and you have wirings, just spend a couple hundred thousand to see if you can get some milk. Um, 
They usually give you the milk, but sometimes it don't. But just chasing that milk, just look at some of the stuff that the, the arc is giving you. I don't know if they updated the crates or or what, but the crate loot was really really good. All right, so that's just the update. You know what I'm saying? If you guys got any comments on the loot crates that you guys been opening, you've been getting some crazy stuff. Message me, comment below on this video, cause I want to see was it just me, bro? Cause I don't want to talk about everything I got, cause I'm not trying to jinx it. But let's just say I was fat with no milk. So if you play on gen and you frustrated with the bog mission or the snow because everybody run those, run this one, man. Lava East, this mission is real easy. You get a lot of XP when you run this and you get 30,000 points almost, like 29,000. It's pretty good. All right, run this mission. I'm headed back to base now so I can get on the Reaper grind. So I'm here on Aberration. Let's get this party started. And usually the way people do this is they just like to just lead the Reapers off the edge and stuff like that. But I actually kill these Reapers because I still, I'm not max level. So I still need that to keep. So that's why I usually do it this way. Grind up bring reapers back um i don't know why i closed the door though i shouldn't have closed the door but grind up bring reapers back until i get the high level ones man that's my method usually i mess up when i finally get the reaper i, I somehow get killed and no one's here and it despawns or i die in radiation it's always something like I just particularly unlucky with these reapers but I'm still persistent. I still go after them no matter what. And I just hope that the one that was grabbed today is an event reaper, man. So let's kill these off all the way until we pull the 125. finally pulled this 125 um i wanted to wait for a higher one like 145 plus 140 plus but reapers are finicky sometimes the high level ones can pop with not so good hp and the the 125 can pop with good hp so i lowered my standards and say i'm gonna take anything 125 and uh, pretty much 120 and up i'm gonna take that reaper give birth and if i have time come back and grab another one 
all right so I'm in the radiation zone right now trying to get the little pink thing to pop up so I can get prego all right um I am waiting for my guy to pull up because if I get pregnant and die the reaper will despawn so I had to wait until my boy pulled up that one to get a reaper if nobody wants to get the reaper I probably would have just got pregnant and just risk it but um for sure man it, it was a grind I hope you guys enjoyed me pulling back all those reapers that's what it takes to get a high level one there is some better spots where you can pull better ones and get them faster but this spot is decent I plan to run it a little bit more. All right, so let's speed this up to get to the point where it's ready for the Prego Park. so as you guys can see man we finally solo the reaper out and it's a beautiful thing to go out there and do that all all on your own you know it's not easy to do by yourself so if you do it by yourself it's pretty dope um, I invited a couple tribe mates to come over one guy came over and got pregnant but everybody else is just like man nah, just kill it so we ain't worried about it. I might go back down there and try to pull another Reaper before the event is over. I think it's over tomorrow, so we'll see. Hopefully, I got still Drake eggs and Griffins to get. Now, obviously, I might not get to the Griffins, but I'm going to try my best tomorrow to get to some Drake eggs and get to some Griffins and have those videos for you guys. And that's really committing to everything I told you guys I would do. I told you guys I was going to get Wyverns. I did that. I told you guys I was going to get a Reaper. I got, I'm pregnant with a Reaper right now, and all I just got is Drakes and Griffins, all right? So hopefully we can get to that. Um, everybody that sent me messages saying, oh, Blaze, keep making those PVE videos. Man, keep up the good work. Man, those messages mean everything, man. So keep the good feedback. All that stuff helped me edit. When I don't feel like editing, I think about you guys and continue to edit, man. But it's your boy live. I'm going up out of here, back to the lab, back to the grind. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Go!
So here we have it guys, Blazers Live merch is here. Make sure you check out the website in the description to see all the products we have designed. We have so much more products to design. We got a little bit of everything, pillows, cell phone cases for iPhone and Samsung, stickers, shirts, leggings for your females, hoodies. The hoodies is absolutely amazing, guys. My personal favorite will be the red hoodie. You will see me rocking this real soon. Blazers Live merch is so fire, man. If you want to purchase one of these hoodies, just add this to cart. Proceed to checkout. Once you get the checkout, please do not forget to click on I have promo code. Type in Blaze419 and you will get a big discount. Appreciate everybody that's been supporting me. Let's go.